Hello, everybody. I hope you are having a phenomenal... <laughs> this is normally how I end my videos. I don't know why I'm starting with it this time. But anyway, still hope you're having a great whatever you're having. So day, night, whenever you're watching this. But today, we're going to be doing a draft where I can only take Canadian players. I'm kind of surprised that we haven't done this yet, to be honest. I went back and looked through all of the playlists and... Yeah, I was pretty shocked that we haven't done this, but uh, we're going to do it now anyway. It's a little late because NHL 22 is coming out very soon. So the counterparts to this draft might have to take place in that game, but is what it is. And then maybe we could even do a rematch of the Canadian draft. So yeah, let's get to it. Also, I feel like I have seen several comments for this one. So if you did leave a comment... Um, any suggestion. It doesn't even just have to be the one I'm actually doing right now. But yeah, I just appreciate it, guys. Thank you for leaving comments and giving me some ideas and, you know, just letting me know what you guys would want to see. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. The Canadian Draft let us randomly select a team as we do. I'm watching you guys and I'm going to let it go a little bit longer this time just to really randomize it. Boom. Calgary. Okay. Uh, I feel like we've had them kind of recently. But at the exact same time, I feel like I never have them. So, I don't know. Let us have Fantasy Draft turned on, of course. All right, salary cap, yep, because I'm going to try, as I always do. And somehow usually succeed, even though I think I'm not going to. So I'm going to stay optimistic the whole time that I'm just going to smash it. Because I always end up doing it somehow. I find some budget players and it works out. So I don't want the coach out of my lines. Fog of War, no. And yeah, these are good. Okay, and I also... Saw comments about, you know, bringing back trades. So if the team is failing, then maybe we could do it. I think we could trade for Canadian players because I guess, you know, sort of part of it. They're still Canadian. Which draft position will the Calgary Flamis land? Well, I know who we're picking. Like, I mean, come on. Come on. There's like, you never, ever, ever get this guy. So obviously, I'm going to take Ovechkin. No, well, <laughs> joking. He's not even Canadian. But we're taking Crosby. No, McDavid, obviously. Okay, boom, there it is. But there's still a lot of great players on there that could have been taken. So, yeah. We could take Bergeron. He did pretty good for us last time. But then we'd have two centers. But, I mean, probably could play wing. You know what I'm saying? We could put one of them on the wing. Or just have two absolutely ridiculous centers. We're going to get back-to-back -back picks here as well. So, that is also a bonus. You know what? I am going to do it. I'm going to take Patrice. I'm not sure how people are going to feel about this one. But I'm going to take Dougie Hamilton. Uh, yeah, that's a, I think that's a great defensive pickup right there. I can and will take David Perron because he's on a good contract. So yeah, every single pick we have now is going to be a back-to-back. -back. So I'm going to try and get a goalie here as well, I think. I want to try and... Oh my word. So I guess we're pretty much drafting from Quebec here. I mean, obviously not because we got McDavid and Dougie Hamilton. But between Bergeron, Perron, and <laughs> Flower, yeah, it's seeming that way. But uh, anyway, great pick right there. That's a solid goaltender. Another French Canadian, but I'm going to take Anthony Mantha here. I sort of sorted by potential there. I'm going to try to, you know, have a mix of younger and older players in this one. And I forgot we have back-to-back -back picks again. Great. And on that note, a good contract here and 85 overall. So yeah, I think Brendan Gallagher, we also only have one right winger so far. So yeah, that's going to be a good pickup. We have, oh wow, we only have one defenseman. All right, we got to work on that. Uh-oh. Mackenzie Wieger on a pretty good deal here. 83 overall. Yeah, I think that's a solid pickup. Ooh, Sammy Vatsanen. No, there's... Is it... Hold on. No, I'm, I'm almost positive Sammy Vatsanen is Finnish. So, yeah. I don't know why I thought that. Because I... As soon as I see one player on a good contract, I just sort of, you know, try to hope that they meet the criteria for the draft. But... More often than not, they do not. Travis Sanheim at 83 overall. Again, on a decent contract here. So, yeah, that's another solid pickup. I th I'm really feeling this team right now. I think we're going to be good. Eric Stull, baby. Can't say no. There it is. We still have 27 million left. Um, but we also still need three more defensemen. Another goalie. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, never mind. So, I'm still going to be a little bit of a penny pincher right now. But then... That just means we could take higher overall players at the end if we still have cap left. Zach Hyman. He's... Wow, we only have one left winger right now. All right. Well, there you go, Zach. I mean, that's not his contract anymore. That contract is done. But in this game, it is. So I'm going to take advantage of it. You know what? I feel like I never really take him. So I'm going to try Devin Dubnik. Why not? Yeah, let's let's go for it. Six foot six. An absolute unit of a man. That's going to be our backup goaltender. Edmondson. Uh, he's on a decent contract. And he's also going to be... Sort of a, uh, I suppose, 
more defensive defenseman for us. So, yeah, let's go ahead and make that pick. I should... Oh, I was just about to say we should probably take our backup goalie soon. Totally forgot. We just drafted Devin Dubnik. We are mint. The Nova Scotia kid? Alex Kalorn? Yeah. I think we have to take Jumbo. Like, every time I see him, it's pretty much... If he fits the criteria... Then, yeah, he's gone. He's on the team. Contract is a little absurd, but, you know, we've been budgeting, so I think we could probably bring him on. So, Joshy boy. It's a big contract. You better live up to it. Travis Hamannick. Very good contract. That's another defenseman for us. I, I'm always curious to see how the, the, um, what's it called? Synergy? Chemistry? One of the two. I think it's chemistry. I'm always really interested to see how that's going to work. Oh, what? Wayne Train is here? I was looking at 82 overall. He's 81? Yes, please. Wayne Train, welcome aboard. Woo-woo! Brock McGinn. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. It's a good pick, I believe. Alright, so now, all we need is one singular defenseman, and we're ready to go. I don't think we're going to have to make a single trade. I think this team's going to be unbelievable. I don't know if we're getting into dangerous territory here with defensive defensemen or not, but I kind of want to take Coburn. And I'm going to do just that. Alright, team is drafted. Let's go put it together. Please, chemistry, just be at least decent. Let's see if the draft will take a while to simulate here. Actually, normally it's that round that takes a while, so I guess you kind of bypass that whole thing if you are the first pick it seems because you know how when i normally do these videos once i pick the entire team for some reason simming to my next pick takes a lot longer than the rest of them not this time it was like instant i'm also recording this video like a week and a half in advance so it's very good i'm doing something like this because their birthplace is not going to change so yeah anyways there's the team i think it looks very good i believe we are gonna have a successful season um i Really curious to see how the chemistry goes, though. Moment of truth, folks. Let's see how the team... I mean, that's not bad. No, don't edit my lines. Don't even think about it. Best lines. Ooh. All right, so what happens? No, I don't want to ruin that line. I think I might keep Bergeron on the second line if that's the case, because I, I do want that plus three. Uh, I'm going to move Stall up a line, I think, and move Jumbo down to that fourth line. Uh, oh! All right, Josh Anderson. You're getting... A lot of money to play on the third line there, but I think, you know, it's just, it's got to happen. Yeah, okay, so I'll take zero on the first one because they're just good enough. They don't need chemistry. And then we got three, which is just great second line, and then one and three. So that's very good. Defense, I'm a little nervous. Oh, all right, that's better than I thought it would be. And if we can try to get a okay, yeah, that's a left defense. No, what's Uyghur? Is he left? Mm, okay. Ah, no. Oh, uh, well, he can still play there. He actually... Oh, Mackenzie Weger shoots right, so let's just do that. Okay. Yeah, I'm down with that. So we got pretty good chemistry, actually. All right, that's it. We're winning the cup. That's it. It's done. So obviously, I have to say McDavid's going to get the most points. I'd be insane not to. Um, I think... Well, actually, that second line with the plus three chemistry, I w wouldn't be super shocked if, like, Bergeron or someone ended up coming out on top. But I'm going to say McDavid gets the most with... Let's see, 92? 92? All right, and then I'm going to say the team gets 49 wins. Will I remember those numbers by the end of the season? Stay tuned. I think I already forgot. What was it? McDavid, 92, and the team, 49? I don't know. We'll find out. Well, we're not off to the rip-roaring start I was kind of hoping for. Oh, there we go. Now we're starting to... Oh, well, way to go, Pittsburgh. Way to go. Yeah, I don't think we'll need to make any trades with this team. I think we are sitting pretty as is. Oh, the exact opposite. Well, not... <laughs> I guess not really. But, you know, 20 and 8 versus 8 and 20. Nashville is struggling. Hello? I looked away for like two seconds and we suck. Does someone care to explain what just happened? Not that you would know because I cut all the footage out, I guess. Probably. Well, definitely. Come on, this team should have pretty good poise. What's going on here? I should fire my coach. 32, 28, and 1. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess let's keep the current trading block for now. Let's enter the deadline. Is there any... Good Canadian kids up. I was actually going to ask for a defenseman, so we'll see. Do we need defensemen, though? Like, where are we lacking? I don't know. Because our offense is so good. There's no way we suck there. Okay, let's see if we can get some Tyson Berry here. He's on the block. So, what do I have that you want? You know, help me help you here. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, why is Tyson Berry's trade value so high? Pardon me? I killed Thomas. I mean, come on. That's a joke. Well, for some reason, Edmondson has a really high trade value. So let's try putting him there. All right. And then 
Maybe we could... I don't think I'm allowed to trade first round picks. I think that was the whole thing. I could trade a second, though. That seems kind of fair. Edmondson and a second for Barry? I don't know. Let's see. No, never mind. Their, their bar is a lot. Let's just try it. Okay. Trade rejected. No, that's not going to go through. Well then, back to the drawing board. What if I add Seneshin in? Alright, that makes it a little more even, no? Trade rejected? Hold on. Value just isn't where it needs to be? I disagree, strongly. What about if I also add in a keel? Alright, how's that sound? That Now it's like, heavily favored to- Hello? You know what? Screw you, Dallas. Screw you. Yeah. I- No, I'm not making any trades then. We're out. We're done. I'm just gonna go check up on the lines a bit. We're gonna rock the same team. I cannot believe this right now. Don Skoy, Kreider, and oh, look who it is, Tyson Berry, going to Pittsburgh in exchange for a first, Marco Rossi, and Wild. All right, anyways, let's uh, stop the simulation. And oh, we get two trades here. Petrie and Richie headed to Chicago for two firsts and Michael. M M I think it's still Michael. I don't know. Cody CC. View player info. What's your overall? 74. Oh, okay. Never mind. No thanks. Well, McDavid is leading the team right now with 71. So I was kind of right on that. But man, what's going on? I don't even know what to do with the lines here. I guess having Hamannick on the first pair is kind of a rough go because, you know, he is 81 and all. But that plus one, I... Hmm. What about Uyghur? Yeah, no. Okay. So, well... Yeah, maybe we could just... Well, he's technically a left defenseman, even though he shoots right. So, put him there. Right slash left defenseman. And then we got these two guys here. So, what if I... That still works as well. Edmondson. I'm pretty sure he's defensive defenseman. Yeah, okay. Well, let's just try this. I don't know. Barely shuffled up anything, but it's a little bit different. At least we're trying. Well, hopefully the poise comes out and we have ourselves... Okay, that's a good start. If we don't make the playoffs, this will be the biggest joke of a simulation of all time. Are you kidding me? So 49 wins off the table. That's not happening. Um, but I guess we could still possibly see 92 points out of McDavid based on what we saw there. But yeah, we are on the verge of not making the playoffs here. Oh my days. If we win this game, I guess we're probably in, but that's ridiculous, man. Holy. So we finished fifth in the division, meaning we wild carded. And yeah, I guess 43 wins, 87 points. Not too sure about that one, but it is what it is. Let me just scroll down here to find out where we finish in the entire league. Probably not great. Oh, there's 87. Okay, so we finished 16th. Lovely. I absolutely adore that for us. Minnesota qualified at 20th. So, I guess I feel a little bit better about myself. McDavid ended up with 88 points. Bergeron, 77. Mantha had 64. So, good for you, Mantha. And same with Perron. Okay, good for you, Perron. And we got 61 out of Gallagher, 52 for Hyman. Let's just scroll down here. And there you have it. I guess we were kind of lacking on defense a little bit. I, not really, though, you know. Flurry did pretty solid. 906, 283. Dubnik had a record of 6 9 and 0. But somehow he had four shutouts, a 9.15 and 2.57. Um, okay, that's strange. Regardless, yeah, not the best. Not the best from our team here. Let's go have a look at the entire league. See which goalies lit it up. We got Grubauer with 47 wins. Yeah, he's four ahead Bobrovsky. That's huge. Um, 9.26 and 2.23. Yikes. All right. So clearly the Rangers did quite well. Let's have a look at the... Skaters here, so Sidney Crosby with the Art Ross. Knew we should have taken him. Dang it. <laughs> then we got Backstrom, Malkin, Kucherov. Are you kidding me? All right, there you go, right there. Oh, Montreal actually won the President's Trophy. Okay, let's have a look at their lines then quickly because we still have that feature available to us at this point in time. So let's go to view lines. Montreal, Canadien, where, you know, we took a bunch of our players from Quebec, so... Let's, let's see here. Where are you, Montreal? Boom. They got Lafreniere up at 88 overall already. Holy smokes. Playing with Sebastian Aho and Roslovich. All right. Yamamoto, Monaghan, DeBrusque. You're telling me this team is that much better than us. I don't understand this game sometimes, man. I No comment. And then in net, they got... Bebr <laughs> okay. You know what I'm going to do? I think I might have changed the lines a little bit. I'm just going to best lines it. Screw it. Just best lines... Let the game run with what it thinks is best, which 
I don't know, usually is not. Okay, there we go. We lost a plus two there to our chemistry, but it is what it is, apparently. Let's simulate the playoffs here. Probably get first rounded, maybe even swept, actually. Let's find out. We got the Golden Knights here. Ooh, big win there in the first game. And then another big win. Oh, okay. All right, keep it going here. Wow. All right, well, there was a sweep involved, but just not in the direction I thought it would be. Continue the simulation. We got the Yotes here. There's an overtime loss. Big win. Okay. Okay. We are in the conference finals against the LA Kings. These guys right here. There's... Okay, we are currently up 2-0. 3... Hello? What's going on? We got the Rangers in the finals here. And actually, you know what? We just won the cup. I was about to stop the simulation so I could go look at their thing. Their roster. Like in the edit line screen. View lines, which I can't do anymore. I don't think. Let's see. It might actually still be there. And it is not. Well, that's lame. Anyway, doesn't matter because we won the cup. So we would be looking at our roster. 28 points from McDusty. What a legend. Well, there you have it. Clearly best lines was the route to go. Should have done that a lot earlier. Screw chemistry, apparently. It's all about whatever the game calculates. And then, yeah, let's have a look at the awards here. So Stanley Cup, we know that. President's Trophy, Montreal, we knew that. And then, yeah, we knew that because we were in the finals. Individual, we got Crosby with the Art Ross, as we saw. Also taking home the heart, the Norris goes to Morrissey, Lady Bang to Kucherov, are you kidding me, Kaprizov with the Calder, McDavid gets to Conn Smythe, Grubauer with the Vesna and the Jennings, McNabb gets to Masterton, Tanev with the Jack Adams, Johnny Toes with the Selkie, Ted Lindsay goes to Sydney the Kidney, and Over Chicken takes home the Rocket Richard Trophy. Alright, there you have the awards, playoff tree, I mean... I if you want to see what happened on the other side, I guess we pretty much know what happened on our side because we won. So just throwing that out there again. Uh, it's not very often that happens, but it did this time. So I'll take it. That was that was a good one. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you could. That'd be great. I know there's like a huge percentage of people that watch these videos that aren't. So, you know, just try it out. You know, if you end up saying like, nah, then you could always just unsub. It's that easy. But yeah. So thank you for watching. Uh, comment other ideas down below. Which region should we do next or which country should we do next i guess and yeah that's it thanks i'll see you soon